Okay, is the audio rolling? It's rolling. Hello, I'm Jay Abel. I'll be your tour guide and the occasional voice of authority for the next several weeks. And so, Art 140 is part one of the Art History Survey course. It's a timeline overview of art and architecture that gives the student a fair idea of how visual art progressed from prehistory to modern times. Art 140 is relevant to Western civilization. Non-Western civilization is a whole other bag, and we will not be getting into that here. Western art is unique in world art. It has often evolved furiously or independently or in conflict against other traditions. Sometimes uh, it has multiple aspects within one tradition. Sometimes it completely reinvents itself as ideas change. That's why it takes two semesters just to, just to play the greatest hits. For example, within a century, the art of Rome at left died and the art of the Middle Ages at right was established. They have very little or nothing to do with each other. The West is defined by change. In this half of the Western survey, we begin with, the, with prehistory and the Stone Age. We jump to the ancient Near East and the epoch of the God Kings, and that's where civilization began, as far as we know. We will spend a lot of time discussing the ancient Greeks who changed the, the game, the rules, and the final score. We will stand face to face with the ancient Romans and take the measure of their powerful veristic realism. We will see a forceful medieval recovery after the fall of the ancient world and define its monuments to faith. We finish up with late Gothic in Northern Europe and Italy. We also talk about some social and political history to, to give the visuals a context. Since none of this stuff got done in a vacuum, nearly all art is defined by the demands of the society it emerges from. Art 140 is not a class about decorating your bathroom. Everything you see in my Art 140 has a story to tell and content to convey. We will see and understand the world as people did hundreds, if not thousands of years ago. Some explanation is required, but these records are overwhelmingly visual, and they are far more than just uh, archeological curiosities. They represent those aspects of humanity that words can never address. This class cites a lot of dates and defines a lot of categories, but that isn't really the item, just the box it comes in. This course is mainly about the visual and emotional impact of art and architecture over time. Most of the people in a dedicated art history class are visual art or graphic design people or architecture students, something like that. And for them, art history can be a bottomless repository of ideas and images. I come from a long studio background, and that's mostly what I get out of it. I try to make the course demands as logical and predictable as possible. All of it is in chronological sequence in the modules. Follow the modules, do the work in a timely fashion, and you can't go wrong. I was told many years ago by a college professor that all college professors think the subject that he or she is teaching is by far the most important aspect of knowledge a human being can understand. Well, it, it's almost always true, and I'm no exception. Art, all of it, visual art, music, drama, a 1963 split window Corvette, these things define humanity and they give us any meaning that we may reasonably claim to have. Without any art of any kind, we are carpenter ants, and that is no life for a human being in my humble opinion. We take this subject from many points of view, the textbook, a few documentary videos, and so on. Your old, blunt, and very well-salted professor will certainly have his say, but you, the student, 
will be asked to contribute on many occasions. And so, boys and girls, and all those who prefer to remain unaffiliated, that being said, welcome to Professor Jay's Art 140 Pass and Review online.